hi to Chaco. Blood mage good with red, not purple. Really? I mean, he went he went with the uh, blood mage when he was purple. But obviously, the water elemental is so much better when you're blue. Because uh, water is blue. The water elemental is blue from itself. So blue with blue. That means uh, a lot of blue. The blade master. What, what is he uh, up to actually? What did the blade master do? Okay, here he is. He got a circlet. Oh, that's a nice one. The archmage running across the map. He's wearing a red robe. Okay, that makes sense then. Yeah, that makes sense. Is there uh, any penalties when players get disconnected? Uh, there was no penalty for now, I believe. There might be if he disconnects more often or if he disconnects later in the game. Sometimes you get a default loss. Anyway, these footmen uh, and the water metal going for this burrow. This burrow is going down fast. Nice, he's dead. Uh, this next burrow is next. Of course, the Archmage is going to help out a little bit. This footman, he doesn't want to die. So he's he's moving to the north. And this blade master, he's just right-clicking this footman. And there goes the footman. There goes the burrow, and there is the archmage. Two burrow cancels for a footman. I'm not sure how that plays out. Like I know later in the game, if you can kill a burrow, cancelled burrow is nice. But early in the game, is it nice? It's probably still nice. The grunts are going to be later. Oh, the blade master walks so fast. Oh, he used the boots. Uh, he used the scroll of speed to get the boots of speed. But the archmage might still get it uh, in time. Let's see who gets that boots of speed. Uh, blade our archmage. He buys it. Archmage bought it. So the Archmage is uh, too fast now for the Blade Master. Blade Master has a staff though. And what's happening over here? Two footmen against the Grunt. Archmage is super beautiful. In the end, there's one owner. Or better said, one company which owns other companies to produce everything you can imagine. Yeah, but there's a difference. If it's different companies, uh, there's no, usually no integration, right? I mean, there's no cooperation between the companies. There goes the first hole. Well, in China, you have these huge companies that are just doing everything. And it's all like integrated into, you know, into one company. Just, uh, it's very nice. There, or, Black Mass kills a troll, sometimes nice. Uh, and does he kill this one? Not yet. It's the same situation we had last game, but this time with the Archmage. The Archmage does get a kill. Picks up the Ring of Protection. Two Rings of Protection. The Footman here doesn't want to die just yet. The Footman is going south. Blade Master there. 102 Critical Strike. He's running. Oh, he's uh, being killed. Okay, take some more damage. He had 21 hit points. AM got the item? Yes, he got the item. It was the uh, the the ring of protection. The second one. Blade Master attacked the Archmage. Yeah, he was busy attacking the Archmage. That's why the Archmage got the kill there and the item. Okay, here's the Beastmaster. Oh, I love the Beastmaster, of course. Romantic almost always plays the Beastmaster. I think the Beastmaster is so much more versatile than the Mount King. And he's going for this the Spirit Lodge. He cancels the Spirit Lodge. Does he go for the uh, Beastiary? He does not go for the Beastiary. He goes for a Burrow. He doesn't have a Staff or anything to save the Beastmaster. Oh, the Archmage in... Oh no, not in trouble. Because the Blade Master just runs past the Archmage. The Beastmaster, he's going to die. But we all knew that already. Oh, he has so much mana though. Such a waste. It's Piggy. Oh, so much Piggy. So good. He doesn't waste all that mana. At least he used 75 for this piggy. The piggy is buying a little bit more time though, but that's about it. Piggy, run little piggy. He's running around the gold mine. He's running. No, the peon blocks him here. There, the blade master just uh, leveled up to level three. Here's another piggy. A player's forces are under attack. This piggy is so beautiful. This piggy, he's still alive. Okay, Shadowhunter is going for this creep camp. The Blade Master walking across the map. He has level 2 wind walk. But here comes the Tower Rush. Beastmaster is back. Shadowhunter is creeping. Of course, you don't want to fight against a level 3 Shadowhunter. You cannot win that game. So, what you do is you Tower Rush before there's a Oh, Peasant is dead. 
Before there's a level 3 Shadow Hunter. Such a smart play here by Romantic, but his Archmage is a level behind. Oh, is he just creeping this? Seems like he maybe he's not tower rushing, maybe he's just creeping. Which is a uh, very romantic esque play. Alright. Infi would always tower rush here. There goes the sources, but uh, Romantic, we've seen in so many games just play late game with the Beastmaster and win games even. You know, for a long time I was saying, like, oh, if you go uh, Beastmaster, you lose late game compared to the Mountain King. If, uh, if the Shadow Hunter gets up to level 3, but the Beastmaster, you can't win. But I was proven wrong. Romantic, so many times, has won this matchup with a level 3 Beastmaster without the towers. Just He's just creeping, and he just micros his summons very well. He splits them very beautifully. He uh, casts Invis on them with his sorceresses, of course. Uh, so they're harder to dispel and puts them in a, a good position. It's so beautiful. It's so beautiful to see Romantic play with that Beastmaster. But uh, it seems like the Shadow Hunter already level 3. I'm not sure this game is going to be beautiful. If uh, Focus fights right now, Focus only 40 supply because he's still he's supply stuck. But his heroes are super duper strong. Hello. Two level 3 heroes against a level 2 and level 1. Did he get a Tome of XP? Do he? Can you get a Tome of XP here? Oh wait, I can of course see. I forgot, can you get a Tome of XP here? Can you get any Tomes here? Pretty sure you can't get the Tome over here. I'm searching. Don't see any. Anyway, here's the attack. Oh, this, this farm in trouble. The Beastmaster is level 2, the Archmage is level 3, but it's Beastmaster is not level 3 yet. So I don't think uh, Romantic stands much of a chance here. <laughs> don't think you can get a Tome of it at the Mercenary Camp. Okay. Yeah, I don't I don't remember getting a Tome of XP there I, I, uh, either. I don't think you can get a, any Tome there. Anyway, speed scroll out here. Of course, he doesn't have many Spirit Walkers actually, now that I look at his army. He only has one Spirit Walker, he's getting a second one. So, in other words, the Militia are really strong. So fighting next to a human base is probably not the best. Oh, this Sorceress, hello! The Sorceress is AFK. Spirit Walkers are the counter to Militia. If you guys didn't know, the magic damage is so strong in the Warcraft 3. It's insane against heavy armor. So, uh, here comes the Blade Master. Oh, this Peasant, what was he up to? Arcane Vault is being rebuilt. If he can't get a level 3 Beastmaster, Romantic has a chance. Blade Master kills the peasant. This peasant is going down. Ah! It's just sitting there in the back. Beastmaster killing Murlocs. He's still not level 3. 24 more XP. Arcane Vault is totally dead. Towers here by Focus. Also, Voodoo Launch, of course. There's two Spirit Walkers. Hmm. Hmm. There's a Kodo. This guy, you know, he just needs two Peon kills. If he just kills these two Peons, he's level 3. This uh, Priest dies super duper fast. The Footman also dies. And these Water Elementals working on the shop. That's so smart. But they're next to each other. But there's no no Dispel, really. There's not that much mana for Dispel. If he uses them on the, the Water Elementals, that will be the last mana on the Spirit Walker. The Water Elementals still alive. They used one Dispel, but the other one, you know, they didn't. The birdies over here, the piggy over here, this is what I was talking about. Uh, the summons all the way away from the army, so you cannot Dispel the slow together with the piggies, together with the water elementals. Again, the water elemental in the center, the piggy on the right. And uh, these guys are being focused by the piggies and the water elemental. The blade master doing some stuff, but who cares? This, uh, those guys were both ethereal, so now they take uh, extra healing from the spirit uh, healing thing. How do you call it? Healing wave. But it seems romantic. Uh, Oh, the tower is up! What a tower! Are you kidding me? Tower is successful here by Focus. Uh, the Water Metal Coke for the Code of the Piggy as well. There's no more mana for Dispel, so now it's not that important to split up his units. The Sorcerers are still alive, the Priest still alive. Romantic just owning these towers. Seems like the Blade Master you had to use the Info Potion. And the Shadow Hunter is out of mana, the shop was down. This is an easy game for Romantic, maybe, unless the Blade. Oh, okay, as yes, the Info Potion should be. 
Okay, let's see if uh, Focus can get away without too many losses. He doesn't have a speed score. Maybe the Blade Mash can buy one real fast. Uh, or buy a TP, but you cannot buy a TP at the marketplace. He's, he's looking to see if there's something to buy, but no. This Raider is going down. These Spirit Walkers are down. Man, Romantic is beautiful. I told you guys how good he was with his uh, Beastmaster. You guys wouldn't listen. You guys were like, no, Chaco, you need to Towers with the Beastmaster, or you need the Mountain King. No, guys, this is exactly what I was talking about. Romantic, so beautiful with those uh, piggies, with the water elementals, with the uh, with the micro and stuff. The Blade Master is almost level four. What's your job in real life? I don't have a job. This is my job. There's a birdie. Oh, and the birdie sees a Blade Master. Blade Master is trouble. They're slow, of course. Uh, there's no Mountain King, so he will survive, but he takes a bit of uh, damage there. And this means he won't be able to survive the next attack. He will have to use the Healing Wave on the Blade Master, but even then he won't be a full hit points. And uh, <coughs> Tom of Agility there over there. The Blade Master is almost level 4, by the way. If he can just... No, he, he couldn't leech a single point of XP. Oh, he needs two points of XP. And then he's level 4. And then he gets level 2 Critical Strike. By the way, not the best items here on the Blade Master. So he doesn't kill units uh, in two hits. There's that healing wave. But th there's the shop now. So maybe Focus can make a comeback here because there's a shop. And you can never win against the orc when he has a sh Look at this piggy immediately. He Michael's him back to the back. This other piggy also to the back. Oh, this is so beautiful. Romantic. So be oh, this priest is going to die though. He dies too late with the Michael. They're romantic. The archmage level 4. The code is dead. So there goes 10% damage on the orc army. Where's the level 2 critical strike? Hello, Focus. Focus, please pick this level 2 critical strike and get some nice crits. Shadow Hunter is out of mana, but he has a mana potion. He could use it, but the Raider there is dead. Uh, Blade Master still hasn't picked level 2 crit. He crits this guy down, though, with a level 1 crit. 90 damage crits, a water mental. Of course, he's micro away from the army. And uh, the Grunts are trying to kill the Spirit Walkers as well. And he kills the water mental, but he loses a Grunt. Uh, he still has level 1 crit. Hello, Blade Master. You're level 4. Hello, dude. Uh, he kills a priest with that level 1 critical strike. That's uh, still good enough. Romantic is 14 spy up, but this blade master, this shop, this shop is so powerful. However, uh, mana potion is now. No, yeah, he buys another one. The blade master still alive. Where's that birdie? The birdie's over here. He sees the blade master, the piggy. Again, the beautiful position on the piggy. How many times do I uh, need to point it out? The Kodo shows up and eats a spellbreaker. That's pretty tasty. The water metal gets a dispel. Uh, this burrow, by the way, low on hit points. This Kodo is, is low on hit points. This Spirit Walker is low on hit points. He dies. This is why Spellbreakers, I mean, they do so much damage against the Spirit Walker. So you you never want to tank any damage, really, with Spirit Walkers. You don't want to tank Piggies. You don't want to tank this uh, Spellbreakers. You don't want to tank the Water Elementals. Your spirit Walkers, oh, there goes another one. And if they're Ethereal, you don't want to uh, tank the Sorceresses either. So you have to be super careful with these Spirit Walkers. There goes the Sorcerer. 156 Critical Strike. That's a level 2 Critical Strike, but he's dead. GG. First game goes to Romantic. The Blade Master is going to be here. There he is. There's the Blade Master. This Grunt as well. The Blade Master and the Grunt. What Blade Master did we get? Tojara, guys. And the Blade Master going for the Ogre Magi. And this Ogre Magi taking a lot of damage. Here it comes. Wait, what is this? He's going to creep this creep camp. Yeah. Hi, Chaco. Hi, Chat. Hello, Batfan16. Welcome back. The Archmage creeping this. This is, of course, because he's he, uh, scouted, so he knows this is safe. Uh -uh. This means he can still creep this later, and it will be safer to creep this later than earlier. Well, this, if he creeps this later, it's just so super risky. But right, <coughs> right now, it wasn't too risky. A player's forces are under attack. Right now it wasn't too risky because he scouted with Footman and he knows the Blade Master usually creeps this first. Ring of protection for the Blade Master. What a shitty item. Here we have a gloss of haste. The footman going for this burrow. Okay, this is what he did last game as well, right? And he won last game, but I don't think he had an amazing early game last game, but maybe this game will be better. Water elemental sub footman. Just going for the burrow. There this burrow does go down. He's going for this other burrow. Easy peasy cancel this burrow. Can he save the footman though? The blade master is on it. No, he's not on it. There goes the burrow. And this burrow. This burrow that burrow will go up. The water elemental is going for it, but what can one water water elemental do? What can he do? He can defend against a grunt. He's fighting against his grunt. 
Oh, he's going for this burrow now. This footman, you know, these footmen are going to help the water elemental. He's no longer alone. He has friends coming. And even the archmage is going to show up again. He has no boots, but he has the staff. Staff is such a super item, by the way, guys. This staff, I love this item. This footman is beautiful. He's going for this burrow now. This footman does go down. This footman, uh, you know, he's still alive. There goes the burrow. He's going for this burrow now. The footman, the one footman died. Oh, this burrow, is it going down? Yes, it is. How many burrows did he cancel? Did you guys keep count? Because I didn't. Like five now or six or four? I think five. <laughs> My intuition says five. My feeling, I feel five. But it's not really uh, a logical, uh, logical number. It's just... That's what my feelings tell me. It's like a little bit of a warm feeling in my stomach. And that means five. Here, come, uh, here comes Romantic. He's going to creep this. Blade Master over here. He's beautiful as well. Tofu armor. What? <laughs> Tofu armor. <laughs> Is that what burrows have? Is that how the walls are made? Are the walls of burrows made out of tofu? It could be. Here comes the Blade Master with one grunt, of course. Why one grunt? Because he didn't have the burrows to build more grunts. He's a tier 2 now, but he doesn't build anything. Doesn't have the money for the hero yet. Oh, this peasant, though. <laughs> nice shot there by the, the grunt with his axe. He killed another peasant as well. Two dead peasants. That's pretty nice. Romantic is only one supply up, but he's going to buy a Beast Master, of course. Oh, I'm looking so forward to some more piggy micro this game. This footman is micro to the top right. This Blade Master hunting down the footman. There's a beast master, the beast master with the piggy. There's the piggy. There's a the bottom metal. These burrows better run. If only you could uh, pick up burrows and run. That would be cool. If you could like select four peons and then pick up a burrow and move it somewhere else. They should add that to work with three remastered. Uh, the Archmage is my code a little bit. He has the staff so he can, you know, do whatever he wants. This burrow taking so much damage. The peons are repairing it. Uh, where's the next piggy? In a moment here we see another piggy. There it is. Summons it over here at the other side of the burrow. Uh, Beastmaster is... He could give the staff to the Beastmaster, by the way. If he really... He could have, you know, and saved the Beastmaster, but he didn't. Uh, he kills the burrow. Oh, there's the Shadow Hunter. Is the burrow... The burrow does go down, though. And there's no tier 2, by the way. There's no... The, the war mill is up, which is beautiful. He's going for the next burrow. Archmage summons another water elemental. This piggy, this piggy is he going down? The piggy is down. Uh, it was a footman. And this crab now. I mean, the crab, he is also going down. The Archmage is walking past the Shadow Hunter. There's mana for one more hex, so he cannot staff out yet. And the Shadow Hunter uses clarity. Is someone going to cancel this? This burrow, by the way, taking a lot of damage meanwhile. Uh, the piggy goes down, so the burrow will stay up. Okay, there's another Shadow uh, Clarity. Archmage could staff right now, but no, he will TP. Too much damage here. Especially with, uh, since he wanted to cancel the clarity, he couldn't uh, staff. There's water and metal against two grunts. Who wins this fight? The grunts. Okay, well, Romantic is getting these Arcane Sanctum units. Well, Focus, he's getting a bestiary. He's rebuilding the burrow. Well, space is open, but there's uh, priests healing everyone. And sorceresses in a moment. Once these sorceresses come out, the Archmage should be safe with the slow on the Blade Master. Oh, but are they going to be out in time? Maybe not. But the yeah, the Blade Master just kills the Archmage. Easy peasy. The Shadow Hunter dropped the Shadow Hunter. He's dead. Okay, so he traded the Shadow Hunter for the uh, Archmage. I mean, it's a good trade, but it's not like <laughs> game breakingly good. The Archmage is level 2. The Shadow Hunter was level 1. But the Shadow Hunter was like full full hit points. The Archmage was uh, kind of low hit points, but he was healing with the priest. So it was still good here for focus. He has a level 3 Tojara now. Level 2 Windwalk. He needs to buy so much time. His beast area is up. Spirit Lodge is going up. Plane Master doesn't have mana for Windwalk. So beautiful. Some more sorceresses. Archmage was level 2. Takes 72 seconds to come back. Shadow Hunter was level 1. 36 seconds and he's back. Oh, he, f he goes back and immediately he finds a little piggy. And is this a Towers? There's a the Militia. Where's the Archmage? He has a staff, by the way, on the Archmage. He remembers. I remember. 
Warcraft remembers. Oh, is, is he gonna creep this? Maybe it wasn't towers, actually. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was just pretending to towers. Here comes the Blade Master. He has matter for one wind walk. So uh, there's no overseer. Uh, I'm not even sure why he tried to go for the null overseer. Oh, did he get XP? Yeah, I was saying like, <laughs> here was uh, criticizing Romantic, but it's, I'm not sure. He might have gotten. Oh, this Headhunter! What is he doing here? Hello, Headhunter. Love you. Bye. Archmage is close to level three. The uh, Beast Master is level two. Here comes the Blade Master and the Shadow Hunter. Shadow Hunter just level one. Hello. Last game he couldn't win with a level three Shadow Hunter. You think he's gonna win with a level one? Okay, he's gonna be level two actually here in a moment. Meanwhile, remember last game we had two level three heroes for focus when Romantic just had a level two and a level one hero. So this game quite the opposite. Well, not the opposite. It's uh, now they have similar level heroes, three and two against three and two, but a bit of a sp uh, XP lead here for Romantic. There's Kodo. He's getting raiders, the second raider. Spirit walkers, he has one of them, which is initiate, so no dispel. So the piggies and the water elementals and, you know, everything. There's no danger of being dispelled. This footman, though, he is getting dispelled by the blade master. Look at his dispel. There, footman is gone. Dispelled. The piggy, he still moves the piggy to the top left, uh, to the right. The blade master, uh... And the peons are working together. What a nice team together. A five-man team there. One blade master, four peons. They do so much damage. It's one of the best five-man teams I've ever seen in my life. This blade master now working on this footman. That's uh, a lot of dead footmen. And he don't see a romantic killing anything. He loses a priest. Is he... Uh, the pickies here going for the Kodo. Spirit walkers now in a bit of a vulnerable uh, position. But it seems the piggy's going for the Kodo instead. The, the Kodo ate the water elemental. The peons doing so much damage. Maybe this uh, this attack wasn't very smart here by Romantic. Attacking into a tower, into a shop, is uh, it's just impossible to win. This this priest does go down. Blade Master killing another peasant. He's dead, guys. That's a dead peasant. Ah, this peasant is also dead. I haven't seen Romantic kill a single unit this entire fight. Did he kill or oh, killed one grunt? He killed one grunt this entire fight, and he lost everything. Romantic. Just uh, getting destroyed here. The Shadow Hunter close to level 3. Oh, this piggy might get this uh, Spirit Walker. Okay, gets a Spirit Walker. And he gets... Uh, Focus gets back to his shop. Look at all these human bodies. 1, 2, 3. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14 human bodies I count. And I took 2 orc bodies. Like a spirit walker and a grunt. So, romantic, but supply, supply is even now. Ooh, romantic just stole the book of the dead. I can't change work with three from 1.28 to 1.26 now. No one can. Uh, what you need to do is reinstall with the older version. Go to eight the spellbreaker. Uh -uh. The beastmaster picks up a talisman of evasion. He's almost level 3. Romantic still in this game, even though this fight was so horrible. Even though that's the worst fight I've ever seen in my life. Romantic is still in this game. Sentry Ward over there. Romantic uh, back here, healing. Blade Master, man. He's pretty low on uh, hit points. He finds the, I mean the Beastmaster, he finds the Blade Master, he has a healing potion and an info potion. So close to level 3, but the Blade Master level 4 and the Shadow Hunter level 3. Romantic just healing here in the back. There's a Kodo. Uh, this time, there's a shop over there. If they fight over here, suddenly it's gonna look a lot easier for Romantic. But he uses it's even his uh, gold peons there as militia. This shop, man, this high hill. There's a birdie. He's invisible. There's a water elemental. He is visible. The birdie uh, over there. These guys fighting against a grunt. There's only one grunt really. And there's two, three raiders. Here come the militia again. All his militia. He has one on, on gold. 
This is Rager. Michael back there. 135 critical strike. He kills as a spellbreaker. The Beastmaster summons a biggie. Oh, it does get this well. He's so close to level 3. If he kills his Raider. Oh, but there's a healing uh, heal scroll, I believe, by Focus. Two spellbreakers already dead. And the Koda ate another one. And there goes a, a militia guy. The spellbreaker here also dead. Now we have a level 3 Beastmaster. Is this uh, the comeback for Romantic? He just lost so much. Look, Romantic at 40 supply. He's fighting against 50 supply. There's a shop here. This shop is just so strong. This uh, Raider here is also, you know, taking some damage. There goes the Raider. And uh, there is an, a Piggy. The Water Elemental here taking so much damage from the Blade Master. There's another Water Elemental summoned. <laughs> he summoned it over there when he was facing this way. That was beautiful. Uh, Beastmaster is kind of surrounded, but there's no Blade Master nearby. He has an Info Potion, so he's completely fine. The Priest here and Michael back beautifully. The Blade Master going for a Sorceress. There's no Ensnare on. Oh, but he, she dies to the 153 Critical Strike. Use the Info Potion there on the. Beastmaster, he does have invis as well. Uh, Beastmaster should still be fine as long as there's no dust. Uh, there's no dust. I mean, there's not enough dispel to keep dispelling the invises. The two spirit walkers died there. The Kodos, by the way, in the back are just beautiful. The Shadow Hunter is surrounded. If Romantic GG's out, okay. And it's 1 1 now. 1 1. The winner of this will go to the finals. That's how the semi finals work. And the loser is gonna go out of the tournament. The winner will play against Pinga. The loser won't play against Pinga. Or maybe we'll find Pinga on the ladder still, but that's not relevant for uh, for the fast cup. The Blade Master going for the Renegade Wizard. Maybe the Footman can get the last hit. Let's see. Mikasa, we have Mikasa, guys. Mikasa, has, she has zero XP. Let's see if she will stay at zero or if she will get the horsey guy. Oh, the Footman. No, Mikasa gets the last hit. <laughs> Claws of attack here for Mikasa. Circlet here for uh, RN Spellweaver, though. Our forces are under attack. Blade Master, you know, he's beautiful. The footmen are running away from the grunt. RN Spellweaver going for this uh, this wizard. Going for the next wizard. These wizards going down. Ready for action. Our forces are under attack. More footmen. Okay, what's happening over here? This footman is in so much trouble. This scouting footman, if only he can kill himself, and he kills himself. There's a scouting grunt, he is still safe. For now, he. <laughs> I feel like he could have been surrounded there. <laughs> this grunt, Romantic didn't go for it, because if he misses it, he uh, wastes so much time. Oh, and the Blade Master is there in time, he used his speed scroll actually, just to get there in time, but he didn't get the kill, I believe, right? No, no way he got the kill. Right or did he? 184. How much did he have? Pretty sure the Argmage got it. But the item, who got the item? The Blade Master did get the item. The replenishment potion. He killed a uh, little peasant. Mikasa did. Wait, did he? Maybe he did because the Argmage crept all of this and the Blade Master only crept this guy. So I guess he did get the Sasquatch. Blade Master just killing footmen and stuff. There was a horse sound. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Footman is taking so much damage. The footman is running. The blade. Oh, the Archmage. Going for another creep. This is not worth it, usually. But what, what Focus is doing here. Oh, footman. He kills the footman. That's nice. He gets 40 XP. Did he? He did. <laughs> oh, he buys the staff. Okay, that's nice. Uh, so he can keep harassing here. But the Archmage, he has boot. Oh, and these footmen are ensnared. This footman is going to die. He kills a lot of footmen. Ready for action. These guys, they're so beautiful. They take some damage of the, from the grunts. Uh, I feel like... Oh, there it is. Here come the militia, creeping the murlocs. The archmage maybe buying stuff as well. Oh, buys a circlet, a second circlet. He's gonna be level 3. These uh, tier 2 buildings can be cancelled. And we all know that can lose you the game. There's the bestiary going up. I, I usually I feel like cancelling the tier 2 buildings is does usually more damage than cancelling some burrows or even killing a burrow. We'll see how it goes. The Archmage is now level 3. He's hiding here, by the way, with the Cloak of Shadows. Where's the Beastmaster? He's waiting. The Grunts. Okay, there he is. And he, he's gone for the Grunts. The Grunts are so low on hit points, by the way. 
The footman take a bit of damage. There's the spirit lodge. If the footman find the spirit lodge, but they won't. Because they're uh, going to the right. This grunt also surviving here. What a beautiful micro here by focus. These, foot, uh, these grunts taking a lot of damage. The blade master going for the beast master. He could give the give an item to the beast master, by the way, if he's afraid. Oh, nice block there. The argument is completely safe. But he has so many items to save his heroes, like TP, boots, cloak of shadows. He shouldn't be losing any heroes, really. This grunt is, is uh, running. There's no dust here for focus. This grunt. All these grunts for focus are so low on hit points. He uh, he was creeping with them. I think the burrow killed that grunt. Maybe not. He, he has 60 XP. Beastmaster uh, got the XP. This uh, burrow here is going down. The footman it takes a bit of damage. And there's the first raider and he's getting a snare. But the raider has to be careful. He was almost surrounded there. But he found a way out. Oh, the beastmaster is now a little animal. It matter for one more hex here. Oh, nice block here with the raider. That's super nice. Oh, does he get the raider though? Archmage should be fine. He has the boots of speed. The raider is still alive. 64 hit points. This grunt is standing over there. Uh, the footman and whatever go for another burrow. The burrow gets cancelled. Focus is still supply blocked here. Of course, Romantic's building is tier 2. Oh, the war mill. He's going for the war mill. Cancel on the war mill. And now what? The Archmage is in the back. <laughs> just walks in. It's like it's uh, like he has an open invitation. Like it is uh, it is an open invitation. Or however you call that. The Archmage just, uh, you know, attacking stuff. And just walking back in again. And walking out. Like it's his own home. This uh, spirit walker is now e ethereal. Oh, he finds another burrow over here. Focus is taking so much damage. But is it enough? Archmage, oh, be careful, Archmage, there's another hex. The Blade Master just critical struck you for 126. There's level 2 critical strike. There goes a peon, actually. So now it's uh, 30 out of 30, focus is. This water elemental is taking oh, so much damage, 156. He goes down. The Beast Master is back. He finds his Raider, and there's boots of speed, so the Raider goes down. But that frees up supply for focus. That means he can build another Raider. You see? Every... Uh, bad. Everything, everything uh, bad that happens to you might have an upside. Anything bad that happens to you might have an upside. The chicken, the chicken archmage, he will have to use the healing potion there. He could also TP out because there's another uh, hex and there's another speed scroll. He will have to TP actually. There's the TP. Here comes the Beastmaster going for more burrows. The Beastmaster, does he have a. Uh, no, he's dead, guys. The Beastmaster is dead, but he will. Do some more damage here. Oh, the water elemental got ensnared. That's beautiful. He should probably just be fighting against the raider. There it is. The Archmage is healing in the back. I mean, the Beastmaster, if he wanted to, he could still survive. He could just buy his staff and staff home. But that's not what he wants. He wants to kill this burrow. Job done. I mean, this burrow isn't even worth that much at the moment. Even if it goes down. Focus is still not supply stuck. Oh, but look at all these peons uh, repairing the burrow. This beast master doing his best. He's doing his best. He's fighting against the burrow. He is now a little uh, baby seal, but he still cannot fit between the peon and the, the town hall. There goes the beast master. And now the sum is going down as well. So much XP gained here, of course. For focus, so much XP from all these summons. He doesn't even need to creep. He just he just kills the beast master, kills the piggies, kills the water elementals. Is this a tower rush? It does look like one. Does he have a staff? No. Beastmaster will have to walk across the map. But he's level 1. He will be back in a moment. He's just going to be late though. Romantic is forced supply up. There's no war mill. There is no war mill. Okay. There are two spirit walkers that are uh, initiate still. Okay. And two raiders with and snare. He now knows where the spirit lodge is. But these creeps, oh, he doesn't aggro the creeps. Oh, so close. You'd think the creeps would be aggroed. And now the creeps aggro. What oh, a mistake there by Romantic. Spirit Walker survives this. He wants a Spirit Lodge, apparently. There won't be, uh, if he gets a Spirit Lodge, there won't be a depth. But going for the Spirit Lodge lost him so much. Hello. 
Lost the peasant, lost the resources. He gets the spirit, spirit lord. Beastmaster is going to die again. Don't think he can uh, continue with the towers. Beastmaster is so dead, but the spirit walker does go down. I remember, there's not that many spirit walkers because the spirit lord is dead. This raider also is going down though. So maybe it wasn't the worst for Romantic. That uh, Beastmaster only costs 170 gold to remake. Sure, you give a lot of XP. But, oh yeah, the Shell Hunter is so close to level 3. The Archmage is uh, tower rushing. Well, they're fighting over here. There goes the Footman. The Shadow Hunter, one more kill, I believe. I mean, not a peasant. If it's a peasant, two more kills. Uh, there's a level 1 healing wave because he realizes he needs to save the, uh, the Raider, but that means a lot of mana wasted with on just a level 1 healing wave. These two Raiders both solo. One dies, the other one gets a level 2 healing wave. This uh, priest is dead. Level 4 Mikasa now. Level 2 Windwalk. There's an Annihilator and Snare. The Beastmaster, I hope he is gonna be back in a moment. These towers, I mean, one is uh, being upgraded to Arcane Tower. This, this Grunt is such an easy target. Why doesn't he kill the Grunt? But it seems like Romantic just loses the game here. That's what it seems like to me. But is that what it actually is? No, the Water Elementals, I didn't see the Water Elementals. They're so strong. Maybe the Water Elementals can still do something. He has a healing potion here on the Archmage. There's just Raiders here, of course, because there's no more Spirit Walkers. Maybe I said... Maybe I talked too soon. Maybe I meant the other thing. Yeah, that's what I meant. This is Romantic just winning the game here. That's what I meant to say here. Uh, not the other thing I said. Well, I didn't say. You know, forget about it. There goes a Sorceress and a Raider. This uh, Sorceress, she is going down as well. You know, the Raider. The Blade Master, you know, takes so much damage. Use the heal potion because he still had a heal potion. The Shadow Hunter is out of mana though, so uh, he won't be able to heal again. The, why are these water metals going for this Raider? Okay, because the Blade Master has mana for Windwalk, of course, that's why. And uh, this Raider. Oh, there's no more source. He killed all the sorceresses, but look at this block. It's not good enough. There's a sorceress again. These towers. Okay, one arcane tower is up. Supply is slightly in lead of focus, but the, the thing is, his shop is. If his shop is going to die, focus, he will be in so much trouble. He needs to shop. And here comes the peons. Okay, he can buy whatever he wants for now. And he can defend the Beastmaster, of course. You know, he's being focused. He's going to die. That's typical. Some of piggy before you die. Come on. Oh, he's hiding. Oh, so sneaky. Look at the sneaky Beastmaster. He could still buy the... Uh, I mean, there's so many raiders here. He does retreat. Oh, he gets... He gets instead. He could have given the info potion there. No, he, he's just hiding. So sneaky. It was it was a trap. This spirit walker this is the last one. He dies. No more spirit walkers. Oh, it was a new one. It was a new last one. Uh, every new spirit walker he builds. I mean, or if he builds another one, it's gonna be the last one again. The blade master loses all his mana. This this priest is going down. The beast master, you know, walks a little bit just to uh, let the focus know. Hey, I'm still here. And uh, the Archmage is just doing so many attacks. Shadow Hunter uses that mana potion because he's still next to the shop. Spion is losing all their health because of the Spirit Link. Uh, this Greater goes down the Info Potion box player on the Archmage. The Archmage is so strong. The Archmage has been the MVP here for uh, Romantic, man. He's the only... He, he's pretty much been fighting against focus by himself. And some units that uh, just trickle in. This uh, Raider here is going to die. This Sorceress does retreat. This Raider is dead. And uh, I don't know who's going to win this game, but it's going to be one of these two players. The Piggy going for this Raider. The Archman is helping out as well. He's just two circlets and this uh, Mental Intelligence. So he's so strong. It's it's more like, it's more. It's not really an Archman. It's more like, it's not quite like a ranged Blade Master, but more like a ranged, what's a strong hero? I don't know, but he's strong. The Archman is strong. That's what we have. He's like a strong Archman. That's what he's like. He's going for the Shadow Hunter. He has healing potion and heal scroll, uh, speed scroll. I mean, use the speed scroll to get out these raiders. Though the raider and spirit walker again. Is this going to be the last spirit walker that's dying again? And then the next one is going to be the last one again. There, the raider does die. This uh, Shadow Hunter has to be careful. He, he's been killed by two peasants. Blade Master going for uh, sorceress. He's losing his mana so much. Oh, this last spirit walker died again, and the Blade Master kills the sorceress. We'll have another last spirit walker over there. And then another one, as you guys can see here in the queue. This peasant, run peasant, hello, where's your micro? Romantic, that peasant, everyone could see it. It was like at the five hit points, and the Shadow Hunter was, uh, Blade Master was going for it. Oh, look at this last Spirit Walker. It's going down again because he's slowed, and oh no, the sources are attacking. Uh, never mind. Speed Skull, he's still alive. They're still initiated, by the way, these last Spirit Walkers. The. Water Metal and the Piggy going for this Raider, doing so much damage. The Archman's helping out a lot. The Beastmaster going for the shop. The Piggy 
and the arc mage they're hunting down whatever they can uh piggies apparently right now uh no, not piggies the raiders of course this is a raider this is piggy chaco know the difference i know they're both cute and and animals and stuff this uh water elemental fighting against the blade master the piggy what is he doing he's just walking through the base a third arcane towers up all but the murlocs uh focus made a pact with the murlocs and now uh he promised the murlocs half this map if they uh, helped out and killed the uh, human army but you know, the Murlocs all died. Of course, folks knew the Murlocs were just going to die. So that's why he made the pact with them. Uh, so, I mean, if they're dead, he doesn't he doesn't have to honor his pact anyway. Mikasa level 4. Shadow Hunter also level 4. If Mikasa gets level 5, maybe folks can win with just his, his heroes. The Archman is level 4 for, for uh, Romantic. Beastmaster level 2. Maybe it's time for Romantic to build a shop. Building more towers. Does he have a lumber mill? Uh, does he build a lumber mill? No, never. He's just building more arcane towers. The sources. There's a free sources. Not completely free. 144 critical strike. Is she dead yet? There is. The, there she goes. Shadow Hunter used another healing wave. Oh, there's a shop. The piggy though could cancel it maybe. Piggy, why are you just standing there? Romantic, you have a piggy over here next to the shop. Okay, he doesn't know this. This priest is uh, being killed by some raiders. This priest is next, of course. The Beastmaster is so beautiful. Summons a piggy. Level 1 piggy. Did he... S no. Okay. Never mind. Let's forget about that piggy. Because Romantic did as well. Uh, the Archmage summons another water elemental. Uh, and the Blade Master going for the Spellbreaker. So far. I mean. The last 2 3 seconds. Haven't seen a unit die yet for focus. So. And he's killing units. Oh. Never mind. This Raider is going to die. Someday. And this Spellbreaker as well. A uh, Spirit Walker. I mean. There's a piggy over there. The, the Raider went down. The Spirit Walker went down. Another raider also went down. So and there goes another raider. Uh oh, Beastmaster so strong. Uh, the Blade Master level five doesn't stand a chance against his level three Beastmaster. He has level two piggies now. They're so angry. Look how angry this piggy is. He's trying to kill the Blade Master. The other piggy is no longer there. And look at this anger. But Mikasa, she gets away easy peasy. Angry piggies or not? She gets uh, to the shop. Another mana potion here on the Shadow Hunter. Focus. Focus. He needs to focus. Oh, invisible water elementals. Surprise! Blade Master gets surprised, but he does 168 critical strike there on the peasant. Uh, Mikasa, you know, she's beautiful. The burrow goes down, but he still has plenty of burrows. Or actually, not plenty, but he's not supply stuck for now. Uh, the Blade Master retreating. He buys a healing potion. Shadow Hunter is beautiful, but uh, Shadow Hunter far from level 5, so I don't think there's a comeback here for focus. This tower could be upgraded to a fourth arcane tower if you really want it. And that's not what he wants, though. He wants to, you know, just win the game. Romantic wins with less score even than Focus. Look at this score. It's mostly because the hero score is so much lo lower here for Romantic. But GG. Romantic wins the semifinals.